secure this very nice classic SL. So uh, a few videos back I asked if people would like to see a video about this one, so uh, I got some positive comments, so here it is. So this is an SL280 from 1967. So uh, original this car came uh, from the factory as a 250. So uh, later on it changed. It was an original 250 automatic and it's changed for a 280 engine and uh, a four speed manual. So uh, these days I think a 250 is more uh, even more worth than, than this particular now because an SL 250 is only built in 1967. So uh, it's more rare than this particular car but uh, besides that this one is in really, really nice condition. It's uh, restored in 2003, so it's only driven after it uh, 2,000 kilometers. Painted back in signal red, it's just, uh, yeah, it just looks like new everywhere. It's just, it's very nice, classic look. So, uh, why is this particular car called a pagode? So, uh, that's because of the roof. The half of roof is over here. That is because of the shape of this roof. So, it's a, it's a hard top uh, roof. It's got also got a soft top. So as you can see, this particular car has a, like a shaped roof, like a Japanese uh, pagoda roof. That's why these particular cars had, had that name. So it's fully steel, glass windows in it, wood trimming. Yeah. Very nice, so this car could only also be driven in cold weather, in weather conditions. So this particular model is also uh, delivered with a soft top. It's underneath here. So there's just a handle over here, you can open it, and then you can uh, get a soft top out. So uh, not all those cars were delivered with, uh, with a soft top. You also got, uh, it's also called a California model, that was a, an SL280 2 plus 2. That was uh, delivered without a soft top and only with a hard top, and then there was a little small rear seat in here. So then you got a four seater, so that was called the California model. So yeah, uh, this particular uh, model is the W113, built between 1963 and 1971. The, the first years till 1967, 1963 to 1967, you've got an SL230. They were well, all six cylinders, so 2.3 liter six cylinder line. And uh, in 1967, you've got an SL250. And uh, that, was the, that was how this car came to life. And then from 1967 uh, till 1971, you got an SL280. That's where this engine and transmission is from. So uh, SL250 only in 1967, 280 from 67 till 71, and uh, 230 from 63 till 67. So this particular car was, uh, is now with a four-speed. There was also there were three transmissions available: three-speed automatic, four-speed manual, and a five-speed manual. So this is a four-speed manual. I really like it, but when you have these diesel cars, they really sound incredible when you're only closing the door. Only that sound is just awesome. If you hear that, it's just... You can still hear that you close the doors like a... You close a safe or something. So, under the hood. So, this hood is opening the other way around. So, this is a M130 engine. Six cylinder line engine. It does, does not have carburetors, it has mechanical injection. So, this particular pump is not like the Kayatsonic or anything else. It's still, this looks like uh, it's based on a diesel fuel pump. So, you can see if some people were familiar with the old bus pumps that were also on the diesels, this looks pretty, pretty much like it. So, uh, this uh, injection system was also in the model before this, and there's also in the Gullwing, the 300. <coughs> so, pretty nice engine bay, I think. So, yeah. 1967. It's a way back. 50 years old, this particular car. So, you can see it's fully restored. Very, very clean car. Brick bay, brake booster. So, this particular car is at uh, the first model, the SL2. Fifth of SL230 had a fuel tank of uh, 65 liters. That's also, I think, it's already pretty big. But what really massive is when you got a 250 or a 280, 
you got a fuel tank of 82 liters. I think that's really, really massive. Oh, yeah. Each particular model is by uh, 1,350 kilos, I thought. It's including the hard top, I thought, but I uh, have a look later on. So, uh, yeah. When you look at these lines, it's just very, very nice. What a nice car. Also painted dash, very big steering wheel. So these uh, cars had a top speed of 200 kilometers an hour. So in 1967, I think that is already pretty fast. So it's a very nice car to be in. It looks looks like a small car, but you can still inside. You got still uh, enough room. So original Becker radio. Was a kind of small dash in here light. There's a 280 owner's manual. I always like these kind of things. Nice, that sort of stuff. Steel dash. Oh, all steel and painted. Very nice. So, I think we should have a test drive in this. Very nice classic car. It's very good weather for it, so uh, I think we'll keep the roof the roof off, and I hope you can hear me when I'm driving. Very nice. Oh, this car looks so good. This is going to be a very nice ride. Very nice hip belt in here. 1967, I thought seat belts were not uh, needed. I think they were just optional to use them, but uh, better to use them, of course. So, what is this? A nice, a nice car, and it sounds really, really good. I think. make me happy with something like this. It sounds so good, eh? So yeah, 1967. That was way before I was born. I was still in my uh, life before this one, I think. So 50 years old this car. It sounds sounds really really nice. I hope you can hear me because we got under the roof open of course. It sounds that nice really. So yeah, 1967 W113 model like I said, built between 1963 and 1967 came to life as a 250 this particular model so uh, 230s and 250s had uh, 130 horsepower and uh, the 230 had 196 newton meters and the uh, 250 had a little bit more that had 260 newton meters so this particular model is swapped for the most powerful engine and what is made of all so this particular car had a 2.8 liter 2778 cc or something so uh, it has uh, 170 horsepower and 240 newton meters. So this particular car weighs uh, 1360 kilos, and um, with the hard top on, there's 94 kilos uh, with it. So it weighs then uh, 1409 kilos. So if you got 230 or 250, it's 60 kilos less. But the hard top is also weighing 39 kilos. Sounds pretty nice. Very, a lot of torque from the bottom end. I thought the uh, max horsepower was 5750 RPMs. Max torque, have a look. I got all racers speak uh, uh, 4500 RPMs. You got max torque. So 
967 what is this it's just really nice look at radio in it is just all original they build the 48,912 pagodas so that's a, I think that's a lot for that time that they built that much uh, of these cars so that's uh, really good I've got a very big tractor almost driving up the road you cannot have it in this very expensive classic The transmission is a little bit, yeah, it's, it's but you're not used to cars like these days. You have to search a little bit for, for the gears. From one to two is good, from three to four also, but from two to three you have it's a bit a little bit roomy, but uh, I think that's just the time. So yeah, there is not that much wind uh, catching you that I thought it would, because we don't have a window in here or uh, how you say that the windscreen. So uh, it's just awesome. So like I said, also the classics from uh, I call it the California model. It was two plus two. So we go this way. So that had a had a rear seat. So I think that was pretty small because when I look at my seat position, I'm at the position that I'm sitting best. There's not much, there's no room in here. So you had two seats in here. And also it saved you of course a little bit of weight. I don't know how much it saved, but then it was a two plus two and then you had a hot top on here. So uh, yeah. if you look over the nose it's just what a nice look. And it sounds very good. It still accelerates very nice also. they have for sale. There is a really uh, really good place to go for uh, looking for an SL. So this is a 113. They also had the, the R107 that came here after this one. And they uh, I also have an R107 SL300 that has only done 850 kilometers. That's really low. So this particular car is 2439 kilometers. So I don't know what the original was, but uh, this is the, the kilometers that it drove after uh, it's been restored in 2003. So it's fully restored. So if you want to see more uh, about the SLs, have a look at the website. They are really, uh, really good dealer for R129. That's the most car they have for sale there, of course. So yeah, it's just what a joy to drive. Nice old horn. dashboard all the analog go gouges of course with the speedo it goes to 6200 rpms I don't know if that's uh, the limit but uh, maximum horsepower is at 5750 rpms so we got also of course speedo to 220 yeah top speed is only 200 so why do you need one for more so uh, a few guides of course oil oil pressure so this is coolant temperature I think this is in yeah, about 10 feet, a few miles, yeah. We've got a back radio over here. There's also a clock. It's all painted dash. Really, really nice. So let's close the soft top. I'm going to open the windows a little bit. Both sides. Here's a handle like I showed you before. Put this one up. Look, I can get this. Yeah. You get both sides in, of course. Yeah, there's a little bit in the other side. Yeah. 
So you close this, these two. This goes up. When the plate goes down, both sides. Yes. Let me close this one again. Oh, we have one in the middle. That's it. So, it's closed. Still sounds very good in here. I really like this, this, this sound. Yeah, the back. These kinds of classics are really nice. They're still they're 50 years old, but you can, they're really good to drive. Still in summer you can use them as a daily driver, no, no problem. So don't put this car in storage, drive it. It's not a museum piece. It's a car, so you have to use it. Yeah, and if you put it in the museum, it only it will only get worse. We have to drive it. So hope you like this video about this uh, very nice classic Mercedes SL. For me it was a really nice experience. It drives better than I thought it was. It's just, just uh, yeah, a 50 year old car which you won't expect, but uh, the quality is very high. Still got a good roof on top. So uh, this one is fully restored, so if you're looking for, uh, for a good one and you don't want to do that much work, this is a uh, car for you to look at. So this particular model, like I said, is for sale at passioncar.de. Uh, there's also a link. Click in the right corner, go to the main page. You can also find uh, more videos about that, but description below the video. You can find uh, more information about this particular car. Also a link to the website of passioncar.de with this particular car is for sale, so have a look there. And, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Right corner, button, my logo. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.